With massive help from Russia, the Iranian defense industry is developing new systems. On Saturday showcased new weaponry including the Armin anti-ballistic missile system and the Azerix low-altitude air defense system. According to Iran International, a website operated from London by the opposition to the regime in Tehran, the unveiling ceremony for the two vehicle-mounted systems was attended by Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani, as reported by the official Ernest State News Agency. With the entry of new systems into the country's defense network, the air defense capability of the Islamic Republic of Iran will increase significantly, Erna said. It said the Armin missile system can simultaneously confront six targets at a distance of 120 to 180 kilometers, while the Azerich missile system can identify and destroy targets up to a range of 50 kilometers, with four ready-to-fire missiles. The website points to the fact that Iran often announces the introduction of new military technologies and weapons that is difficult to independently verify. The claim comes amidst escalating tensions in the region, with Iran-backed Houthi militants in Yemen, conducting a series of attacks on commercial and naval vessels in the Red Sea, in solidarity with Hamas. In response, the U.S. targeted sites in Yemen and facilities of Iran-backed groups in Iraq and Syria. U.S. military bases in Syria and Iraq have also been attacked, while Israel has carried out strikes on Iranian targets in Syria. Meanwhile, Iran is bragging that it is deterring other countries in the region and making enemies more cautious. Furthermore, Iran's military leaders warned Iran is capable of targeting the enemy's vital and sensitive interests all over the place, in case it has ill intentions Fars news agency reported. Officials assured that areas even far from the bordering regions are monitored by Iran's air defense units to confront any possible threat. An Iranian general was quoted by pro-regime media as saying, The powerful Islamic Republic of Iran Air Defense Force is the absolute air defense power in the region, and this is an undeniable fact. The equipment that we currently use in the country's air defense is 100% indigenous and is the most equipped and state-of-the-art on the edge of global technology. Why is Iran pushing reports about its air defenses basically every day with new reports? On September 8, Tasnam quoted administration. Alariza Tingsiri is saying. Today, the Islamic Republic of Iran's Army Air Defense Force possesses the most advanced and well-equipped systems. And it is an undeniable fact that our armed forces possess superior air defense capabilities in the region, and our enemies are well aware of this. Is Iran's latest bragging linked to the expiration of sanctions relating to its missile programs this coming October 18? This is a possibility. Iran wants to purchase new fighter jets, and it recently unveiled a Yak training aircraft it has apparently received from Russia. A separate October 2020 sanction that related to tanks and jets expired in 2020. Clearly, discussions of missiles are related to possible exports and imports. The tactical air defense system isn't unique or long-range, however, and Iran may want to export it to places such as Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, or elsewhere. On the other hand, Iran may merely want to show it is deterring others. Nevertheless, what's the overall point of showcasing an air defense system like this? The system may be more advanced than an S-200, but its range is similar. 
The performance of Syrian air defense crews using S-200s has been dismal over the years. Iran works closely with Syria, and it may be suggesting that it can roll out a better system that could help its partners in the region. Other than that consideration, Tehran may also be bragging that its defenses can detect drones and other threats at long ranges and neutralize them if need be. Iran has claimed in the past that it faced drone threats or that it had to counter perceived threats in the Gulf amid tensions with the US. Recently Iran also threatened US forces in Syria 